it's Milano time. The red and black side of a city hold one of the most famous names in football history, AC Milan. Seven time Champions League winners and four time world champions. In today's All Time XI video, we are studying the history of the famous Italian giants and giving you the lowdown on the most fabulous players ever to don their famous red and black stripes. Who would you go for in your team? Starting off in goals, it's Buffon. And no, not Juventus's legendary Gigi Buffon, although he is a relative of one Lorenzo Buffon, who played for AC Milan all the way back in the 50s. Lorenzo was incredible, and he was also the cousin of Gigi's dad. You could make a good quiz question out of that. Anyway, whilst Gigi was still just a star in the sky, Lorenzo was winning four league titles for the club. The defence picks itself, and we have to go for three at the back, because these three are something else. In fact, perhaps even two of them alone could keep any of the world's best teams out. Up first is a name and face you would associate with AC Milan like no other. It's Paolo Maldini. Of course, of course with regards to Maldini, there are some cool family links to the club. His father before him played for Milan, and his son has done so since. Maldini was the best defender of his generation, and perhaps Milan's best ever. He spent a stunning total of 25 years with the Rossoneri, in which he managed to pick up 26 major medals. Seven of those were Serie A league titles, and five were European Cups. The legacy of the man is simply impossible to argue with. During Maldini's career, he had a defensive partner that he trusted more than any other. Another stunning player in his own right, Alessandro Nesta. Nesta won it all, from the World Cup to trophies with Lazio and domestic and European success then with Milan. A colossal figure at the back who dominated throughout his career, Nesta was even voted Serie A Defender of the Year for four seasons running. Finishing off our fantastic back three is the legendary Franco Baresi, the ultimate sweeper or deep lying defender. Baresi was part of a famous Milan side that continued to revolutionize football and not just win titles. In 20 years at the San Siro, Baresi won 21 titles and was voted the club's player of the century in 1999. Have you seen a defence nearly as impressive as this in another team's all-time 11? I think it would be hard to argue against these three legends, but let us know your thoughts in the comments below. On the right of midfield, we are going with Roberto Donadoni. A genius on the ball, Donadoni could play across the park on both wings or in the middle. However, his blistering pace and crossing ability made him the perfect winger. Donadoni won three European Cups and five leagues for Milan in another storied career. In the centre, we're going with club legend Gennaro Gattuso. The infamous little bulldog of a footballer Gattuso was quality, but also struck fear into his opponents with his fighting spirit and inclination to go in pretty hard on the tackles, or even take things further where he thought necessary. He picked up plenty of cards in his time, but Gattuso was a key warrior in a winning Milan team. He had over 461 appearances for the club, and the fact that he only scored 11 goals in that period shows you just how important his other attributes were to this team. A fantastic breaker-upper of play and fighter from the first second to the last, not to mention a World Cup champion with Italy. Alongside him is World Cup winning partner Andrea Pirlo. If Gattuso was lacking some killer attacking attributes and wasn't scoring or assisting, then that's okay, because Andrea Pirlo had creative qualities in abundance. Pirlo trotted around the pitch like a show pony, his hair bouncing in the breeze. Not just a really cool bloke though, Pirlo was an outstanding footballer who shone at the San Siro. For 10 years he was the main man in the middle for Milan. He won two leagues and two Champions Leagues in that time, and but for Liverpool's miracle in Istanbul, it so easily could have been three. On the left side of midfield is Gianni Rivera the 1969 Ballon d'Or winner. Rivera was one of the best to ever lace up the boots and was also voted Italian player of the 20th century. He won two European Cups and three Serie A titles for Milan as a key creative piece in their side over a 19 year period from 1960 to 79. 
scoring 164 goals in the process. Up front, we have three spots to play with, but there is only one place to start, and that is in the Netherlands. Two of Holland's best Euro 88 winning players were also two of Milan's greatest forwards ever. Not to mention that period in the late 80s and early 90s when quite frankly they made everyone else in European football appear a step behind them. Such was this team's excellence. Marco van Basten and Ruud Hullet were superstars and they formed a special partnership at the San Siro as well as for the national team. Hullet was powerful, skillful and also very quick. Like Pirlo, he had a haircut almost as famous as his ability, but this was no gimmick. Hulud, after all, was a Ballon d'Or winner in 1987. He won three leagues and two European Cups at the club, part of 12 medals he picked up between 1987 and 1993. Hulud scored 59 times in 179 for Milan, including a brace in the 1989 European Cup final. Who scored the other two goals that day? Our next superstar, Marco van Basten, of course, famous too for his stunning volley for Holland on their way to European Championship glory in 1988. During that same five or six year period, Van Basten thrived alongside his partner Hullet. He scored 124 goals in 201 games only and of course also won three Scudettos and two European Cups. Van Basten even managed to outdo Ruud Hullet when it came to individual awards. He went and won a hat-trick of Ballon d'Or titles in 1988, 89 and then again in 92. Before we name our last striker, we have to give a few honourable mentions. Not least to Frank Rijkaard, another Dutch dynamo of that time, but also to legends like Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Filippo Inzaghi or Joso Altafini who just miss out. So last but not least on the team sheet, it's one of the great marksmen of the 21st century, Andrea Shevchenko. Shevchenko captained the Ukraine and was AC Milan's star striker and perhaps the most feared and revered in Europe for many years. He had two spells with the Rossonieri between 1999 and 2006 and then again briefly in 2009. But in those early 2000s he did all of the damage. A key part of the Champions League winning team in 2003 and an unlucky member of the team that lost the final in 05, Sheva, as he was known, was the most in-demand striker on the planet. Hence his £31 million move to Chelsea. But at his best, Shevchenko was electric for AC Milan and no defender could stop him. A marvel in attack. From Manchester and Liverpool to Milan and Madrid, you have now seen some pretty stunning all-time 11s from across Europe. So which all-time 11 would you like to hear about next? Well, let us know in the comments below and stay tuned for the next video.